Welcome to Excel in a minute. The XLOOKUP function is a new addition to Excel's lookup functions and is considered a powerhouse compared to the previous ones. In this lesson, we will show you the basic usage of the XLOOKUP function. The XLOOKUP function searches a specified value and returns a value that is found on the same row or column of that lookup value. The function runs using six arguments where the first three are required and the other three are optional. The first argument is the lookup value. This is the value that Excel will search from the lookup array, which is the second argument. After searching the value, it will then return a value from the return array, which is the third argument. Unlike the previous lookup functions, the XLOOKUP can perform both vertical and horizontal lookups and has a separate lookup array and return array, which makes it more flexible to use on large data. Next is the if not found argument. This function has a better response to NA errors since you can set a value to return when the lookup value is not found. Next is the match mode argument. There are four options for this argument including the wildcard match option. And since this argument is optional, the default is exact match. Last is the search mode argument, which allows you to choose which order of searching is performed, including the binary search mode. And since this argument is optional, the default search mode is from first to last. Let's have an example using this sample data, where you want to know the name and price of a certain product code. First, select cell G5 to use it for the product name. Next, type the X lookup formula with the lookup value referenced at cell F5. The lookup array is from cells B2 to B17. And the return array is from cells C2 to C17. Next is the if not found argument. This is optional, but for this example we will use product not found. We will also get the exact match by searching first to last. Now press enter to get the result. Then drag the fill handle to get the price. Now check the results if it match the data. And that's it. You can now try using the X lookup function on your data. This function is indeed a better choice when dealing with large data, as it has been improved to target the limitations of the previous lookup functions. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.